What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 16 of my Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access Let's Play here with the Toronto Maple Leafs and today we're going to be continuing on with our seasonal campaign. This is of course our second year in the NHL, still learning for bits and pieces as I go. You guys may notice a few subtle differences between this episode and the previous episodes. That was because we are on the new update. It's the first kind of big update for EHM since it went into early access. So we're now on build 15.1. So if you notice any little changes as I may do as we start to play this, that's a why. Uh, anyway, I guess the first thing to do is talk about the schedule since the last episode. So you'll see now, we actually have a really packed November. I don't think this is normal in the NHL. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe sometimes teams do play four games in a row. I don't think they do, though. That, that's going to be my guess. But you can see here, we've got... How many games we've got? We've got... Uh, 18 games in 30 days, I mean that's pretty ridiculous, so it's going to be a pretty hectic month and you guys will probably see me before the end of it, I'm thinking of doing the Habs game as the next game. Anyway, let's look at the actual results, so we kicked off our season, or faced off, or just kicked off working hockey, I guess not, um, but we won after overtime 2-1, and it was at that point that I kind of thought, well, it seems like not having Barrage shooting on... Um, you know, means the games are going to be lower scoring. I was wrong. There were loads of goals after that game. As you can see, we actually beat the Kings, which was a great start. And we beat them 5-1. Kessel with a second period hat-trick. Kadri and Van Riemsdyk also getting on the score sheet. A really good result because they did make the, um, the Stanley Cup final last year. Of course, they did lose to the Lightning. And that is who we've got today, the Lightning. So that's a big game for us. Anyway, the next game... Slightly more convincing win against the Senators as we ran out 5-0 winners. A few of the usual suspects on the goal sheet. Also good to see Tyler Bozak appearing. And here you can see the new beautifully coloured attributes. If you want to learn more about this update and the stuff included in it, I have actually done a video covering it all, which you'll be able to find over on my channel. Anyway, the next game was against the Habs. Of course, I mentioned they may be the game that we live com in an up-and-coming episode. And as you guys may be able to see here, we actually played them twice. The first game was a 3-1 defeat. Slightly disappointing, but we were on the road against them. Johnson getting a goal, but it wasn't enough for us. Andreas, who of course was actually um, playing in Sweden last year for us. You can see he got 49 points in 55 games in the Swedish Hockey League. He's come to us here, and the 20-year-old is playing on our fourth line, and he really doesn't look that bad. He's only 20, so... There's some potential there as a third-line player, but um, he got a goal there, which is kind of pleasing and a silver lining, I guess. We did bounce back. We won 4-3 when we were playing at home, and this was an incredible game. I almost want to show you the highlights of it, but we'd be here for a while. But we were 4, or rather, we were 3-0 down after the first, and I was worried. I was shaking my head. There was tears coming from the, um, the bench, but we turned things around. And Komarov, an unlikely hero, kind of the, the brute up front for us um did the did the job that we needed him to do he scored the winner so we came back from 3-0 down to win 4-3 in that one the other wins 6-3 against the sabers 5-1 against the capitals we then beat the pens 6-0 holy crap we outperformed them really great performance by the entire team again komarov again getting a goal which is nice jvr getting a few second assists good to see fowler doing well i can't remember if i talked about this last episode but we actually had a few players in the all-stars game at the end of last season uh, we had fowler and we also had uh, kessel and van riemsdyk fowler of course was one of the players i traded for last season and he's been a great player for us and he's continued to do a really good job for us this year you can see 10 games so far, 6 assists, which isn't too bad. Average rate of 7.6. Can't ask for a lot more than that from your defenders. And uh, this was another great game for him. Also good to see Shaw get a first assist. The I want to say the youngster, 24 isn't exactly old, of course, joined us from the Blackhawks. And uh, he's been doing an okay job for us so far, so it was good to see him kind of contribute there. Anyway, the next game was the only defeat besides the Habs game we've had so far this season. This one against the Hurricanes. And uh, we lost 4-3 after overtime. Pretty disappointing, but it was a close game. Um, if we look at the stats here, you can see things were fairly 50-50. Um, in terms of the board plays, we edged it barely. Face-offs we weren't so good at, but 
I don't know, I, feel, I kind of feel hard done by, but at the same time the Hurricanes played very well too. You may notice here that the shot charts and stuff aren't available. I think that's to do with the latest update, so even if I wanted to show you highlights for some of these games, unfortunately I can't. Anyway, the next game was a 6-3 win against the Coyotes, a team who really struggled last year. They finished rock bottom of their conference, so I wanted to beat them. I think we lost to them at some point last year, so they have been a little bit of a bogey team perhaps, but you can see here Kessel grabbing a hat-trick. It was actually 3-3 after the second, but in the third he really shone through with some nice quality Kessel and Horton getting three goals between them. Uh, one of them coming on a power play, which is always good because power plays... I, I, I don't want to say they're a weakness of ours, but last year we definitely could have done better from them. But in the end, we did win 6-3 there. And uh, that wrapped up all the games. So right now, we are currently fourth in our conference. We're playing the Lightning today, who are in third and won the Stanley Cup last year. You can see here, they've actually not had the best start to the season. We've played significantly less games than them, but a win here would still see us go above them. Looking at our power play percentage, it currently sits at 23%. Which is pretty decent. Our penalty kill percentage isn't great, but it's okay. Uh, so yeah, so far things are going pretty well. Um, we've only conceded 19, which is the second lowest in the division and in the conference. It is worth kind of remind remembering, I guess, that um, we have played less games, so we are naturally likely to have less goals conceded. Boston doing pretty well themselves. They're on a not dissimilar record to ourselves. They've played one game less than us. Defensively, they're looking very strong. And they are kind of... I feel, I feel like they could be a rival in this save. Um, some people after the playoff defeat I had to them said that I should check out the last time they met the Leafs and Boston uh, in the playoffs. And I watched that game seven and it uh, broke my little heart, my little Leaf heart. But um, it, it was one hell of a game. I ended up watching the entire game, really enjoyed it. Um, maybe we can have some more classics against them in the future. Anyway, into a bit more about the team and what's been going on. So average rating wise, you can see here Kessel, JVR, Bozak and Bernier doing really well. Bernier doing particularly well in goal for us. I believe there's been some changes made to the update that mean we may need to rotate our goaltender a little bit more. Fortunately for us, we do have Jake Allen as our backup goalie, and he's a pretty decent goalie at that. So we've got a fairly solid backup. Of, this guy, of course, joined us as a free agent. So that's pretty pleasing. Anyway, just a minor update just so you guys can see what's going on with the young prospects. I kind of feel like this is something we're going to have to kind of repeatedly come and check. Uh, throughout this season because of course these players I'm looking to develop you can see here Nyland is actually out with a groin strain at the moment which is a bit of a shame that's kind of uh, limited how much he's been able to play he's only got one point in eight games so far for the Marlies which is a little bit concerning as for our players playing at junior level you can see here Pilon uh, it's Pilon not Pylon I've been reliably informed um He's done pretty well so far he's played 17 games five goals five assists 10 points uh, average rating of 7 is not too bad at all. Other players, Conor McDavid, we're hoping this guy's going to be our saviour. Uh, you can see here, so far for him, 12 assists and 6 goals in 16. So that's a really impressive record. And Lawson Cruz, um, doing good as well. You can see here, 9 goals for him and 6 assists in 14. So he's doing really well at junior level. I think my plan with these guys is to monitor their progress. We can't actually promote them to the Marlies until next year, so that might be something we look at, but depending on how well they do this year, there's a chance I might just kind of throw them in the first team and see how they get on. I mean, Colin McDavid has the raw kind of ability in terms of his physicals and mentals, I think, to stand out in the NHL, whereas Lawson Cruz has just the physicality he's already got the physicals there he's a strong player he's hard hitting he's not going to be intimidated very easily and i think that's going to benefit him well making that transition to the nhl if i wanted to push him kind of in at an early stage anyway just a quick look at the player stats you can see here this is without barrage shooting i'd like to point out and bozak jvr and kessel are just scoring points for fun they've been a fantastic front line for us they were our first choice kind of uh, offensive line Last season, they've continued to just shine and, um, you know, you can't complain much about that at all. And they've done a great job for us. So that's kind of what's been going on at the team. Um, not a load to tell you about. There's been no new trades. I've kind of been, you know, seeing if anyone wants to come in for Horton. Horton, on a slightly large wage for his ability, 
and we might see if we can get rid of him. I've had a few trade negotiations break down, trying to get that first round pick for maybe Horton and maybe a few backup players. I feel like um, now with the update, there might be some new offers that come in that are perhaps not quite as good as that, but uh, perhaps more beneficial to us because there has been some changes made to the trade AI. So there may well be a few trades coming by next episode that I'll have to tell you guys about. But other than that, it's just been a really solid start to the season. Really pleased with the front line's performance, perhaps relying on them a little bit too much. Uh, but all in all, you know, you can't really complain when things are going as well as they are. So anyway, we're going to get into today's game. We are playing the Lightning, as I already mentioned. They are in third in the league. I'm already happy with my line and stuff, so we're just going to stick with what we've got. Looking at it here, you can see um, our kind of starting team is Reemsdyke, Bozak, Kessel, Fowler, uh, Yarmanson. Oh, I can't say that guy's name still. I might just call him Yarmason. Yarmason. I get there after I've said it about three or four times, but that's going to be no good during the game. And uh, Bernier, of course, in goal. So we'll see how we get on here. Just going to make sure none of our preferences have reset with the latest update coming in. They all look good, so that's good news. Um, but yeah, the Lightning are going to be a trick. Oh, okay. I was going to say they're going to be a tricky team. They really are going to be a tricky team because they've just scored their... They are playing, of course, at home, so they're playing in their preferred Navy strip. And we are playing in our white jersey, and well, within a minute, it's 1-1. Kadri has just bounced back immediately for us. That is pretty pleasing indeed. Um, and after conceding early, we've, we've bounced back and replied early, which is very, very pleasing. So the Lightning did really well last year, because they actually finished in a wild card spot in 7th in the conference and went on to win the Stanley Cup. Um... They beat the Kings in the final. You can see they're now 2-1 up. Um, so we can't underestimate them. They've been going fairly well this year. As I mentioned, they're in third, we're in fourth. We've got this kind of defensive record, or not defensive record, just great record in the league to kind of um, try and retain. With this being the new match engine, I believe there's some changes made, so we might have to change our tactics. But we're going to stick with things as they are for now. And JVR right there. Making it 2-2. Beautiful little goal for him to open up the second. A lot of early goals coming in this game. Um, not going to complain too much. 2-2 would be a pretty decent performance at this point. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the shot charts. You can see here, um, they've had slightly more shots. But all in all, we've won more board plays. We've won slightly less face-offs. Our passing's been a little bit better. Both teams have failed to convert either of the power plays they've had. Both of the teams are equal on four penalty minutes. To be honest, right now I'm kind of happy with this performance. I don't want to change too much. We fought back well. We'll see how we get on here. But things not going too shabbily. It's 2-2, although there is a chance here we're going to have a face-off to defend in our zone. Can we win it and build from it? We can't, although... Oh, okay, the ball round the... or oh, the ball. The puck round the back of the net, and it makes its way to Brown. He just finds acres of space to make. And it's quite comfortable finish, really, for the Lightning there. But anyway, it's 3-2 now. Um, and now the Lightning on the attack again. Oh, boy. Can we stop this offence? No, we can't. Ashton grabbing the goal for them to make it 4-2, and... I don't know if I want to blame this on the new update and the new match engine and me needing to make changes, or if this is just kind of um, a typical result. Because to be fair, the Lightning a strong team. They've got some good players. They're not incredible, but they perform well. They performed well last year and last season. And uh, to be honest, right now we've just been slightly overwhelmed by them. I didn't want to change too much because after the second it was so close. Perhaps should have mixed things up just a little bit. I could pull my goalie here. But um, I don't think it's going to make too much difference, if I'm honest. I'm not even sure where you pull your goalie. Um, extra attackers. I wouldn't even know where to do it. Answers on a postcard. There's the question of the day. How the hell do I pull my goalie? That's probably a question that I should have asked at the start of last year. It's probably something that would have been useful to know going into the playoffs. But alas, I've asked now. Still learning every time I open up this game, I feel like I discover something new. And that's kind of one of the pleasures with this game and kind of football manager and I kind of sports interactors, management sims in general, is they just have so much depth to them. I always find myself learning stuff as I go. Um, but however, what we're going to learn today is that the Lightning are better than us. 4 2, it's looking like it's going to finish. Bit of a late kind of um, 
attack maybe here. No, never mind. The buzzer went before Kessel could pull the trigger and try and get off a shot. It's finished 4-2 here. The Lightning get in a deserved lead. They go top of the conference. That's perhaps not something to be too ashamed of. Granted, we are only three points behind them with four games in hand, so that's pretty pleasing. Worth noting that the Devils in the other division in our conference are going pretty strong themselves. They're above us because they're top of their division. Uh, elsewhere, the Senators, who finished bottom of the conference last year, are currently in third. Penguins going pretty strong there. Canadians, the Habs, our rivals, the team who are probably going to be playing next episode, currently in seventh. Um, elsewhere at the bottom, Islanders and Sabres really struggling. Sabres with only two wins all season. That is perhaps worrying if you're one of their fans. But anyway, uh, guys, that is going to wrap things up from me for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed as always. If you have, smash the like button. If you've got any comments, let me know how to pull my goalie. Maybe I said some stuff that was wrong. Let me know. Let me learn. And uh, other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out. <laughs>